The Volvo Care Cab is designed to provide the best possible comfort for the operator. All switches, buttons, levers and pedals are designed and placed in an ergonomical way for best accessibility. The operator has various adjustment possibilities to create a unique workplace. The monitor is placed in a position which is perfect to see but will not compromise the operator's vision. It gives numerous possibilities to check and control the machine's status or will just inform and provide in-time and up-to-date machine data. To get the best possible climate in the cabin, close the door, leave the front window closed and set the temperature control to automatic. This will also protect the switches and controls from dust and dirt. Be familiar with all the controls on the machine. For more information, consult the operator's manual, which should be available and accessible anytime. The most important instruments, pedals and controls are described here. The configuration of the controls and switches may be different than what is shown. Please refer to the operator's manual for complete information. The operator's manual must be read before starting to operate the machine. The left control lever controls the swing to the left and right and the dipper in and out function. The right control lever controls the bucket in and out function together with the boom lower and raise function. Toggle switches on both joysticks or for optional hydraulics. X3 left hand, X1 right hand. Optionally, they're both available as proportional toggle switches. The lower left switch on the left hand joystick is the horn button. The short key controlling one of the following functions. View camera, wiper, or radio mute. The upper button in the front of the left hand joystick is used for axle lock function. The upper middle button on the right hand control lever is for power boost use and will provide additional pressure if needed. The right button controls the boom float function. The toggle switch in the front is for selecting the travel direction. The switch has three positions. Forward, neutral and reverse. The left instrument panel includes different control switches, like the cabin interior light and attachment quick coupler confirmation switch. Depending on the options on the machine, the trailer flashing light indicator and the trailer lifting activation switch is located here too. The small control lever is for the blade and outrigger operation. The right instrument panel includes the ignition key and various control switches, like the work mode selection, rotating beacon, axle lock, and cruise control, lights, travel speed selection, and attachment quick fit. There are two keypads, one for the monitor control and one for the machine control. The monitor control keypad features additional buttons for camera, climate control, work lights, and outriggers. The machine control keypad includes buttons for auto idle function, hammer shear function, overload warning, travel alarm cancellation, and echo mode. In addition, some switches for optional equipment like radio remote. The new boom suspension system. Electric digging brake may be found on the right console as well. A hands-free Bluetooth connection for a cell phone is also available. 
The monitor provides detailed machine information, like indication lights, coolant temperature, fuel and AdBlue DEF level, engine RPM, climate control information, and more. The operator can switch the monitor with the touch of a button to the camera screen. It's possible to show only one camera with the whole screen or split the screen to see two at the same time. It is possible to preset the preferences when the camera button is pressed longer. In addition, the monitor provides specific machine information in different sub-menus. The monitor can also provide the operator with critical machine information. In case of an emergency, the machine will display a red warning message and the operator should stop the engine immediately. The investigation of the red warning shall be carried out by a qualified Volvo mechanic. In the front part of the cab, on the floor, the operator can find all available foot pedals. Starting on the right, the operator will see the travel pedal to control the machine's travel speed in one of the three gears. And directly next to it, to the left, the hydraulic four-wheel brake pedal is located. Next to the steering column in the middle is the location of the two optional pedals for the two-piece boom and hammer shear X1. The steering column is adjustable for the operator's convenience and for better visibility and overview during operation. The multifunction lever on the right side of the column features the controls for direction indicator, windscreen wiper, windscreen washer, headlight dipper, the hazard flasher switch, and horn. The windscreen wiper speed is adjustable with three different wiping intervals. On top of the column is the steering wheel, which is hydraulically supported to provide easy control of the excavator. A secondary steering function is built in as a backup in case of an emergency.